Hi, and welcome to Plumpy Thimble. This is our annual Christmas episode, and, and by annual I mean this is our first one. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do another one or not. Today we're going to be looking at a number of things. Um, well, we'll look at a few games specifically, but more, this is just an episode about uh, my experience with Christmas in the board game community this year specifically. Now, uh, this year is the first year that I was really uh, became very active with Board Game Geek. I've been a member for a couple years, mostly just lurking, commenting on a few things. Um, but this year I decided to dive sort of head in, uh, head first, um, one with the YouTube channel, and uh, as well as trying out the Christmas gift exchange for the first time this year. Um, both the Christmas gift exchange, the Secret Santa, and the International Christmas Card Exchange. So we'll look at, at the results of that uh, so far. And yeah, it's Christmas, you know, it's fun. Um, uh, as you can see by this picture I'm gonna place on the screen right now, winter has come. Uh, and if you could see, but you can't, but the lights on my house are on point. And I thought they'd show up a lot better during the day, which I'm here on my lunch break and I'm realizing that they, they do not. So stop by sometime at night. Uh, let's talk about the Board Game Geek Secret Santa Exchange. Now I don't want to go too much into what I did because I, yeah, I don't want to toot my own horn or whatever. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. I had um, my randomly drawn name with someone in Missouri, which is fantastic because I frequently forget that Missouri is actually a state um, living here on, on the West Coast. So it was neat. I, you know, I was given a name, I could look at their profile, uh, and I had to go based off of their wish list, and, and, and so I decided to have some fun with it, and you know, we, we broke back and forth where uh, there was a whole, you know, a disgruntled elf was trying to get a better job, something, whatever. Uh, but regardless, it was a lot of fun, and it was, it was the most interaction that I'd had with someone on Board Game Geek. I mean, I, I've been on the forums, but I, I, I'm not incredibly active there, so I mean, that interaction was really cool. The fact that I could uh, communicate back and forth uh, anonymously um, as their secret Santa uh, and figure out, you know, a little bit more about them. So that was really neat. On the flip side of that, someone's been communicating with me anonymously as my secret Santa. Uh, the first thing they had me do was um, try to guess where they were from. And we went back and forth a number of times and I, I finally got it. I figured out that they were from Lithuania, who has uh, Lithuania has the best dessert that I've ever tasted, the Napoleon tart. I did not get a Napoleon tart for Christmas, but that's absolutely fine because I was blown away by the generosity of my uh, Lithuanian Santa Claus. Actually, no, before I show you what the gifts are, I'll, I filmed the unboxing. So this is, uh, this is me opening up the box from my secret Santa when I first got it. All right, so I got this package. It is a uh, lunch break for me from work. This was on the doorstep. Some cool stuff, Inc. It is from my secret Santa from Board Game Geek, who all I know is they're from uh, Lithuania. I've been given instructions to go ahead and open it, so I'm going to do that. I should turn the lights on for the Christmas tree. No way, packing peanuts. Tom Bassel talks about these all the time. Specifically. All right, let's reach in. Oh, Cosmic Dominion! I am super excited about this. Cosmic Encounter is one of my favorite games, and I don't have any expansions yet. And I hear the reward deck in this is awesome. Oh, I am really excited about that. I think there's something else in here too. Ink and gold. Nice! I'm excited about this one too. This one sounds like a lot of fun and I've been reading and watching a lot of stuff on it so I am really excited about that. I felt something else in here too which is nuts. There's three games. This one's a little bit bigger. <gasps> Fury of Dracula 3rd Edition. Oh, I didn't expect that. I'm excited about this. Oh, the 
this looks so cool. I cannot wait to play this. Dracula is my favorite book. And just uh, reading and watching reviews on this game, this seems like it captures that theme perfectly. Oh, I'm excited. In gold, Fury of Dracula 3rd Edition, Cosmic Counter. That is awesome. So the games that I got, there's Ink and Gold, uh, which is a push-your-luck game. I'm really looking forward to it. It seems easy to explain. Plays three to eight players. You're essentially, there's five rounds. You're going through a temple, and whoever stays in the longest gets the most treasure, kind of. Uh, whoever stays in the long, the long, ugh. the longer that you stay in a temple, the more treasure you get. But if you back out, you get to keep whatever you've gotten. If you stay too long and the temple collapses or you run into too many hazards, you lose everything. Uh, so it's five rounds of just whoever can get the most money without, you know, getting too greedy and, and losing what you've already gotten. So this I'm really excited about. And the more I the more I, I read and watch reviews on this, the more I, I get excited about it. So I'm super excited about this. Cosmic Dominion is, is an expansion for Cosmic Encounter, which I really like. Uh, I've made a couple videos on the game already. Um, this is the first expansion that I've got. Uh, it's just not a game that I, uh, that I have many, I don't have any expansions for. So this is the one that has, it's got a really good reward deck. It's got, uh, a number of aliens that I believe were kind of created by fans of the game, so I am very excited to try this one out uh, as soon as possible. So I thought that was really cool that I got those games, but the big one was Fury of Dracula 3rd Edition, which and the rumor is that Games Workshop and Fantasy Flight, uh, because of their split, this may not be as easy to get a hold of in the future. Uh, this is a one versus four player game. One player is Dracula, the other four are the Vampire Hunters. Um, and yeah, Dracula has a hidden movement system, so he's going around Europe trying to, you know, spread his influence. I wasn't all that interested, one, in hidden movement games, uh, and two, in uh, a vampire game. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. Dracula is my favorite book. It's my favorite fictional book. Um, vampires are not represented the same way that they are in Dracula in almost any other form of literature. Uh, I mean, there's similarities, but, but the reason Dracula is such a good book to me is the way that it's told and, and sort of the weaknesses that Dracula has. It's different than what you might think. So I wasn't expecting much from this, but this is like, from what I can tell, a fantastic adaptation of what the book is and the feel and the, the themes of the book. And so I'm very excited to try this out. Now, I, I can't thank my Secret Santa enough. So if you're watching this, Thank you. This is, uh, it's incredible. The, the gift that you've given me is, I mean, I can't wait to get, to the, get these to the table. So thank you very much. Also, thank you for uh, purchasing it from Cool Stuff Inc., which I understand has, and I, I've now witnessed firsthand, the packing peanuts that they put this in. And you can, here's a little bit of what I have in store for me. The other exchange that I, I'm in now and that's ongoing at this moment, uh, I still have to send out my cards and, and potentially I'm getting more cards in, uh, but is the Secret Santa, not Secret Santa, is the Board Game Geek Christmas card exchange where uh, geeks from all over the world send each other Christmas cards. They're matched up online and it says, you know, send a Christmas card to this family. So I got my very first one the other day, which I was very excited about by Airmail, Royal Mail, I'm going to little stamp and everything is this Royal Mail on it. So it's from the UK, uh, which is really cool. So yeah, I got this nice glittery card and I do love the glitters. Nice. Uh, it says Daniel and family, happy holiday from Gloucester in the UK. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Wishing you a Christmas filled with happiness and joy. I hope your holiday is filled with lots of gaming fun with family and friends from Sam and Holly. So thank you very much, Sam and Holly. Like this brightened up my entire day when I got, a, you know, a Christmas card from someone, one that I've never met, two from another country, and three, just someone that shares that common interest in board games with me. So I'm really excited to see what this 
particular exchange has in store as well. So Sam and Holly, thank you very much for that. That really meant a lot to me to get that. Uh, also, just rest assured, Sam and Holly, that yes, I am spending a lot of time gaming with friends and family this holiday season. Uh, this is a notebook that my wife and I keep where we uh, keep track of uh, games that we play. So I'd like to, you know, just to let you know that I am doing as your card says, I'll read over some of these. Alright, so, our most recent was a game of Patchwork. Uh, this was yesterday. Um, Shannon got four points, which is really good, and I, I managed to squeeze in a win with 40, um, so that was really cool. Uh, before that, we played Roll for the Galaxy. I won with 32 points, Shannon with 27. Um, I'll skip that one, skip that one. We played Patchwork again earlier. I won with 18 points, Shannon got 15. Uh, I'll skip that one, that one. Uh, Seven Wonders Duel, let's see. We played that a number of times. We'll skip that game, that game, that game, that game. Uh, that game. I won with science once. Um, Shannon got 96 points uh, after the fact. We didn't count that because I had a science victory. I, I had 51 points, but all of them we squeezed out a win. So thank you very much, and I am following your instructions. So that's all I've got for you now. I'm uh, headed to California next week, so I don't know if I'll have a video. A lot of stuff's been going pretty crazy with all the holidays and everything, but you know, for whatever whatever reason you celebrate celebrate Christmas, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and, and for me, the reason that me and my family celebrate Christmas is because we celebrate the fact that uh, Jesus was uh, born, not necessarily on this day, it's a symbolic date, but you know, that's why we celebrate Christmas, and that's why we are uh, celebrating it this year and every year. So for whatever reason you celebrate it, I, I do wish you a Merry Christmas, and thank you to all the geeks out there, all, all of you on Board Game Geek that are making my year, and specifically my Christmas, uh, so much brighter. So thank you and Merry Christmas.